of 2nd Street, Albuquerque, New Mexico, May 25th, 1924. Miss Janie Pierce, my dear wife, your very dear letter came to me yesterday evening. I need not say that I was glad to hear from you. As you know, I am glad to hear from my dear wife. I am very sorry that you felt bad by not getting a letter from me week before last. I was expecting a letter from you. I did not consider the letter, though I appreciate the thought more than I can express. My dearest, permit me to assure you that you shall have a letter from me each week. I suppose you must have took your dream wrong, for I am quite well. And I have not as of yet have had any trouble. Of course, I never be satisfied with you there and I here. Listen, dearest one, I do not like for you to borrow money from anyone, but I dislike it still more for you to borrow money from a man who are not connected with either your family or mine. Although I might not have had, had much money, I would have willingly sent you what I had. If I had thought you in need, of course, I am planning to leave here in short. And by sending this will cause me to be here a little bit longer, but that is all right. I do not mind that. Now I'm sending you $6.00. Take one dollar and get you a bottle of milk of magnesia. I think that is as good as the medicine I intended to send you. And if that fails to help you, I will be willing to send it anyway. I think you made a splendid trade on the trunk that will come in so nice when I sent for you. Is Papa still working for those people? I suppose he is getting all right out there. Tell my fat girl that is so smart of her washing and ironing. And tell my baby she is so smart too. Now good, sweet, we shall be happy together again. And I am praying that it may be soon. My regards to Mrs. Albright and all friends. You is love, J.L. Pierce. If you need more money, let me know.